Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Ree Project. And today, it's all about the beef, baby. A beautiful four quarter. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this on the block. We're gonna completely break it down, trim it out into all its components. And I'm gonna show you the whole process. And we'll talk a bit more about it as we go on. Right, let's get it on the block. Let's do this. Okay then, just put it on the scales, coming in at 52.5 kilos, 111 pounds. So a nice little four quarter. Let's do this four quarter. Now what I wanna do is break this down into its primals. This is where we're gonna get all our stewing, all our braising, our four ribs, our brisket, our slow roasting joints, our short ribs maybe take some uh, flat iron steaks off. I'm just gonna see as we go along. But the keen-eyed of you out there will know that part of the shin is missing. If we look there, should come to about there. Now there's a story with this. This four quarter was using a TV program, a documentary, and they tried to take the shin off and they weren't very successful. But the beauty of this is it's still left where I can show you how to take the shin off, which is about here. But yeah, that's the reason why there's no shin. I thought I'd explain that before you all say, that's not a full four quarter, the shin's missing. But believe you me, we're only missing about that much of shin, but the rest is all intact. And I'm gonna do it on the block the old fashioned way before all you guys and girls out there saying, dude, why don't you do it hanging up while well, I'm in my shed? I haven't got room, that's the only reason. Right. Now, I want to try and get really close on this with the camera so you can see me working this. So, uh, if some of the angles are a bit funny, you can imagine trying to dance around this. Just bear with me. As soon as we got it broke into primals, you'll be able to see all the details. Right, that's enough jiving from me. Let's get on and cut this. I'm really looking forward to it. Beautiful. So, first of all, we're going to take off the remainder of this shin. Remember, I said it should come to about here. Now the only thing with this is normally when we're separating this joint, taking the shin off, we can go through the joint and we use the shin as leverage to snap through. But obviously we're missing some of the bone, so we're just gonna to have to make do. But all I'm gonna do is go through the joint, go around there, just starting to loosen it. As you can see, it's just opening up where it would join, and as you can see, if we add that shin, we'll use the leverage to take it off, but at least you can see how the shin is taken off. And the beauty is, we've got a bit left on there, that's great. Okay, that's the shin gone. You can see the guys had, had a good go at taking it off, but if you didn't know, you know, you're stuffed. So, we can forgive that, not a problem. Right. Next, we want to take off what is the clod and the sticking. Sticking is the old fashioned word for the neck. So we're going to go straight across and take off the neck and clod. Okay then, as you can see, I've got that neck and clod just hanging slightly over the block as we take it off. We allow gravity to help us take it. So we're just following that clod bone, a nice straight line straight through, you'll have to excuse the squeaking of the block, that can't be out. It's really hard to try and get these angles for you guys. So just releasing that joint from the scapula, the blade bone as you can see in there, just as you can see, and then just cut in, letting gravity do its thing, as you can see there, to the neck bone here. Just releasing that one neck bone. As you can see, the gravity again is allowing it to just fall and then just on the floor and there we have our neck and our clod 
So, just going to flip it over. I'm just going to cut through here very simply. This will go to stew and mince or ground, so I'm just going to get those back in the fridge before we work on them. Okay then, next we want to take off the chuck and the four ribs by going straight across there. If I could just show you, there's the lovely little eye of the four ribs, so we're going to put a cut about there, imagining the size of the ribs of beef, and then we're going to join up with our blade bone there, and basically cut straight across. Okay then, so we're going to measure how big we want our ribs. So I've gone there, then what I want to do is spin it round and aim for the scapula, the blade bone. So I'm going to go straight across, just with my bone and knife, and then we will hit the blade bone and then the ribs. Now what I'm going to do here, this is called a leg of mutton cut, an LMC, just a natural seam, just get my knife in. As you can see here, natural seam, couldn't be easier. Just gently take that off. Take that off. Beautiful. Brazen steaks, minute steaks. I think in the US you call this, I'm not sure, is it Denver or cowboy steaks? I'm not sure, don't, uh, don't hold me to that one. But when we trim that out and cut it up, you will see how good that is. Right, so, just remarking. And then with my boning knife, I'm going into every rib in between, which will give us a line to saw when we turn it over. Okay then, so what we are left with then is our chuck from there to there, our four ribs, and then this big part here. This, obviously, the right-hand side is the brisket, and this we used to call the Jacob's Ladder. We used to just mince this or roll it as a joint, but obviously it's become very trendy now and is your short ribs. So what we need to do then is to take a nice straight line, cut that beautiful brisket off, and then take those short ribs off. So it's up to you to eyeball what size you want on the brisket. I'm thinking about there. I mean, we don't use band saws in the UK to do four quarters. It's done by hand saw. So I'm going to go along there, and I think I might leave those short ribs long. I may cut them in half. But that is the line I'm going to follow using one hand. It's quite difficult. Something like that. Right. Get the saw out. So there we have our brisket off, to my mind, one of the finest slow roasting joints. Absolutely packed to flavour, I absolutely love this. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to hang that up. Three more primals to go, then we can start finessing all these beautiful chunks of meat. So we've got our brisket off then. If you remember, I put my boning knife in between each rib and the reason for that is as you can see here these marks this gives us the guide we want for taking off that short rib or Jacob's ladder whatever you want to call it old school I've got to spin this round I can't see what I'm doing so just taking that off very simple and you might be able to see the guideline for taking off that primal right spin it round a bit more saw action picking up that line and then when you've sawn through one 
just give it a tap and it clears the way for the next tap. Trick is a nice sharp saw and then as you can see there just free it up and there we have it right then next onto the ribs the money shot four ribs some people cut five I'm cutting four so you count one, two, three, four, pretty much. Knife in, straight down. And then. Straight through. And that gives you your beautiful four ribs of beef and your chuck. Okay then my friends, so we've broken that four quarter into its relevant primals. A quick recap then, that lovely brisket, we've got our neck which will go to diced, to mince, the remainder of that shin, at least I can show you how to take it off. We got our clod, again diced and minced, this lovely LMC, leg of mutton, which we will stake out. We've got our beautiful short ribs or Jacob's Ladder as it's traditionally known and our blade and chuck on the bone, absolutely beautiful. And then these four ribs of beef. Now we need to take it that stage further and prepare all of these beautiful primals. But my friends, you will have to join me in part two to see me finesse all these beautiful primals into all the cuts you will see in a butcher shop, all the roasting joints, the stewing, the diced, the steaks, so on and so forth. So if you have enjoyed this episode of the Scott Reed Project, please click subscribe. My face will come up down there somewhere. Click subscribe, you won't want to miss part two. Also find me on my social media, on my Facebook, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project and on my Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. So please, please do join me for part two. You will not believe what we can turn all this into. See you there. Take care, my friends. All the best.